Welcome to CAD Concepts. Today I'll explore five important and project-based list routines. List routines is additional tools in AutoCAD that automate your most of the common task. So without wasting time, let's begin. If CAD Concepts video is helping you, must like and comment. Number one, check level. This project design we have, this leveling we have, I want to check out leveling placed ok or not, floor to floor height, ok or not, just I want to check out, ok, I will let this here, type C level, ok, and provide 0 to get your initial level 0, 0, ok, means where you will click first time you will get 0 and click here. OK, 60, 440, 760, 1240, 1580, 90, 20, 22, 60, 26, 29, 40, 30, 60, 32, 40. Means we are exactly correct. If I will go minus, I will get minus value also. Means you can correctly place your leveling in text format in just one time. As you see here, wherever you want. You can check out and you can pinpoint leveling. Number two, total length, meter and feet. This block we have, I want to find out running meter and feet in text format, but entirely, but in one time and total also. Let this PLF select all, enter and take your total. Click here and arrange your text order. As you see here, you are getting running meter in feet at the rate in meter also, both in one time. Number three, total length feet. Take it out feet only, okay? Not meter, okay? Length in feet, okay? Total running. Let this PFT just select all and enter one time. And click here, just arrange your text order. As you see here, we are getting total length in feet only and entirely also. This is the easiest and fastest way to find out total length in feet. Number four, slab calculation. This section we have, this ramp area we have. I want to find out how much slab percentage we will get over here. Okay. Let this line. And check out measurement 120 height, 3220 length. Okay, 3260 length. Let this SLP 3260 we have. Now enter height 120 we have. Okay, click here. See, this is your slope percentage. Means you can quickly find out by length and height your slope percentage just by input only as you see here you don't require any calculation same length we have percentage we have but height we don't have let this slp now press h for height now enter your length 3260 and again enter your percentage 3.68 okay just enter one time and click here you are getting 119.97 mean approximate you are getting 120 so this way you can find out your slab calculation. Number five, arc circle length and radius. This elevation we have, I want to find out these radius, okay, and these length also. ALR, click over the arc and click here. You are getting length and radius both in one time. For any arc, even circle also, if you have circle, it will apply circle also. Click here. As you see here, I will check dimension. We are getting exact or not. Let this one and let this here. You are getting clear dimension, your arc length. We will check out radius we are getting exactly or not. As you see here, this one also 578.2 approximate exactly we are getting. And length also, as you see here, 
we are getting same as it is. This is the perfect way to find out length and radius for arc circle in just one time. I hope you got these insights helpful. If you want to explore comprehensively, you can grab this copy. You will get more than 200 list routine at one place. You will get amazing insights. Must like, share and subscribe. If you have anywhere any doubt, must leave your comment as soon as possible. I will reply your query. Thanks for watching. See you in next video with another topic.